Hey, Gino from Marion Computer, and uh, this gem is called Changing Your Date and Time. So why would you want to change your date and time? Well, I guess maybe the date and time isn't right. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the best reason why. All right, off in the corner here, you're going to click uh, the actual date and time. And then in here, you're going to see, uh, you know, the date and you're going to see the time. So what happens if I say click on five and then uh, go ahead and click off over here? Hey, wait a minute. It still says six, three. That's not cool, right? Yeah, didn't change it. All right, so let's click on it again. And then we see down here it says change date and time. All right, all right, we're getting somewhere. We got a dialog box here. And uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to come down here and we're going to go to change date and time again. But wait a minute. I thought I already clicked change date and time. Yeah, probably got to click it again. <laughs> All right, so we're going to click on that. And uh, then we actually get another calendar. Okay, this might be. Do I have to click another thing to change the calendar settings? This is getting really crazy now. No, you actually can change it here. All right, so let's say we want to go back to the future and we want to go to the seventh and you know what I think we should go to nine o'clock because that sounds a lot better and then I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna click OK no I'm not going to because this has Pacific time but I'm on the Eastern because I'm East Coast gangster so I want to click over here and then I'm going to click OK. All right, now we're on the East Coast again. Oh, but wait a minute, man. It says 1243. We don't want that. You know what we want? We want to change this. And actually, you know what? We want 1043. Because that's, that's the actual time it is right now, right here, while you're waiting. Click OK. And uh, that looks about good. It's not June 8th, though. But we'll just act like it is. And then we're going to click OK. And now the date and time has been changed. So let's click on that again. And let's get you know another look at that. All right, so we wanted to change the date and time. So we click this. And we wanted to change the time zone. And we click that. And we also got notify me when the clock changes, which uh, is, a, is an option to uh, help me out with all of these um, you know, set the clock forward, set the clock back thing, and I just don't understand uh, how that works. Um, but, you know, I just know that I get more light outside when I do it, uh, and sometimes I get less. But, so, we also have additional clocks, and we can show other clocks. Now, this is like when we're really cool, right? When we have like a business in uh, New York and, and one in um, L.A., and we want to just know what time it is in both areas. So we can go ahead and, you know, add another uh, clock on there, and uh, and it'll help us uh, to see both of those time zones. And then this internet time, right? What is this? This is when I can actually be cool and synchronize my time with Windows time uh, network uh, NTP uh, server, which will actually, you know, keep me uh, exactly where I need to be uh, so that way I don't have to actually put it in there myself uh, but you know it's up to you however you want to do it but I usually manually do it and that works out pretty fine and it's pretty cool with me but there you go that's the date and time uh, then again my name is Gino from Marion Computer and uh, this has been a date and time gem see you next time